recording. Recording 28th of, 18th of August. Activity 3.4, page 49. Alright, so we got to, this is a popular store project. And it says in the instruction, declare an array called AR pop count. Hmm. Well, we don't know how many boxes they must have. Uh, it could be lots of boxes or it could be only a few. Well, let's, let's make it 10. And then a random number from 1 to 10 is generated every time a button is clicked which means that is a stall number that a customer has visited. Ah, we're going to count the number of stalls. Count, we're going to keep a count of the stalls that are visited throughout. So it doesn't tell us how many arrays. Oh, maybe there's a global variable here. And yes, there is. It's already been declared. A global variable called AR pop count. It's an array 1 to 10 of integer. And what it means is that in each one of these boxes, there's going to be a counter. A counter is going to be in each box. And these array box numbers stand for stalls number 1, stall number 2, stall number 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So those are stall numbers. Right, so in the update visits, when we click that button, we get a random number from 1 to 10. Fine, let's do it. Double click the button, update visits. Let's say our random number, r pos colon equals random range from 1 to 10 would be that. I'm using r pos there because that's going to be the position. In other words, it's going to be the box number of the, uh, uh, the array. And that will represent the stall visited. Random range has got a red line underneath. And that's because we have to put math up at the top here. So I'm just going to go put math there. And then we're good to go. Remember that our random range from 1 to 10 will be 1, 11. And then all we do is increment... ARR, what's our array called? ARR pop count. ARR, I don't know why. Pop count means popularity count. Square brackets, I pause. So we're going to, in, we're basically adding one to whatever's in already this array box number. Now that's quite a tricky bit of code there. You have to really understand what it means. This AR pop count has got a number of boxes. The square brackets after the array name is referring to a certain index. In other words, a certain box number. And in this case, it could be a random number. I pass could be three. So therefore, we're going to increment the number inside box number three of this array. And this array contains integers. Now, if we're going to increment numbers inside boxes, don't you think they should be initialized to zero first? Well, yeah. We have to start at zero. Are they ever initialized to zero? Go back down to form show. The code has already been written here, which I suspected was the case. This is where in the on show event or on activate or on create, here we have the code given to us. For loop, each box has been um, entered. Um, there's a node being entered into each box. That i goes from 1 to 10, and we're going to put 0. So we're initializing all the counters in every box of the array. Then in the display, this display is a procedure that was written just to display. You see, you haven't, you're not, you don't do uh, user-defined methods this year. You only do them next year. But you can trust that when we say the word display here, 
then this procedure will display um, the boxes. And we don't have to worry about the display. We know that it will happen. And we can just read the code there. Right, so update visits does that, so we can run the program and see what happens. Update visits, and our random number, can you see a random number has been incremented? And then you'll see, still eight, so random numbers. We're adding one to each, to a random box of the array. Looks like we're dealing, uh, uh, yeah, okay, then we're getting a different random numbers now. So if you keep clicking this number, basically, it's like a counter to count up the number of boxes, I mean the number of times store 5 has been visited and so on. So this is a cool program to use, I mean an algorithm to use. And how many, what can, what range can the integers be? There can be any number. Okay, it can go up to 100 or 200 or 300, doesn't matter. But there are 10 boxes. But in each box you can have any number, any integer there. Right, let's move on to the next part of the question. Well, that section on update visits, I've just explained. And that we've seen how it works. And then determine the most popular we're going to display and terminal the most popular store. So we've got to find which one is the highest box of all the boxes in the array. Determine most popular. Double click. Now we know how to get the highest already, don't we? Because I showed you an algorithm of getting the highest, didn't I? So I'm going to make a variable here. We're going to set the first box equal to the highest. R highest. Code on integer. And we're going to set our highest equal to ARR pop count box number one. And then the for loop's going to go through the rest of the boxes. will go from 2 to 10 do begin and end the most popular obviously is going to be the highest number for each of the boxes of those arrays we're going to find out which box has got the highest number in so we set the highest equal to the first box of the array then we go from the second to the tenth in other words the rest of them we ask the question for each one if our highest is greater, oh wait, if AR pop count is greater than R highest, if ARR pop count box number K is greater than R highest, then we have a new highest. It will be equal to that array box number. There we go. And that's that. After that happens, we then can display the highest somewhere, wherever they want us to display it. I don't know. Let's figure out where shall we display our highest. Oh, we have the rich edit already out. Advanced add. Oh, we're going to put in an empty string. And then we say already up dot last dot add the most popular store is number plus ah we're not finished we are not finished at all people We've got the highest count, but what is the number of the stalls? The number of the stall that holds the highest count will be our stall number. 
will be paid. K is going to be the stall number that has the highest value after this um, code is uh, completed. We must go and make this an integer variable. We set it to the first box, so it's going to be one to start off with. The highest is going to be the contents of box number one. Then from two to ten, we're going to say if the contents of box number k, which is greater than our highest, then our highest is that new co box number k's contents. But the actual stall with the highest number will be equal to k itself. So I had it wrong there. The most popular stall is number and then into string k. Now you can run that program.